<laughs> Somerville so, by buddy X Play Dead no, Down. Somerville. Le- Leron? Nope. Where, where, <laughs> nope. Anyways. I actually thought this was a, a Play Dead game, but I guess this is a. What, what was the name of the. Jumpsville? Jump Ship? Or something like that? That's the name of the developer? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Josh, you said that these were some of your favorite games of the show. So, Somerville and Replaced. Yeah, I'm super excited. Like, I, I love Limbo and Inside. Those are two of my favorite games yeah. like, maybe ever. This, yeah. Uh, so this, seeing this... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say that the studio uh, came about by them splitting, <clears throat> right? Like, that's this was yes. this is that team, right? Yes, the, uh, the, the co-founder of Play Dead actually uh, made this studio. Uh, this game was announced back in 2017, believe it or not. Yeah, with a piece Good of art. With a piece of art, like just. I mean, it's it's a game from the guys who used to run Play Dead, so I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that we're getting this before Play Dead's third game is actually like nothing short of a miracle. Mm-hmm. But I fully don't expect this game to come out for like another year or two. Yeah, it's not it's not coming out in 2022. So, I mean, I watched a little bit of the trailer. What what kind of game is it? Is it just like a it plays very much like inside though like that's what i was saying yeah. when i was watching. a runaway it's, simulator basically yep. yeah which yeah, i think is gonna hurt you like mm-hmm. inside told a really compelling story with no dialogue at all like just got kind of playing on your emotions and whatnot if it's like a play dead game it's probably gonna be like two maybe three hours long you can do it in one sitting if but, they kill the well, dog, if, I'm going to be very upset. If they kill the dog or the little boy, I'm throwing hands. They they, they, they can kill the little boy, just don't yeah. kill the dog. <laughs> <laughs> the sanctity of they human kill, life, sir. They killed the baby like, well, shouldn't have been there. Well, yep. dumbass did walk towards the door, so. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> well, Kat, uh, I think this, like, uh, I just was pulling up something about this, uh, the Somewhereville or whatever. Uh, and this, uh, it's rock paper shotgun website. Catherine Castle uh, said that it's like Arrival meets Inside, which I think is a really good comparison. Yeah, I'll yeah. Like, I mean, like, it's it's literally an alien invasion instead yeah. of like zombies. Oh, is that? Yeah. So, huh. yeah. I really like that scene where you're escaping through that corridor and that guy is like kind of laying down covering fire with the, some laser sword or something like that. That was cool. yeah. Yeah, like how you're cool. running yeah. with your your partner through like the town wall, all the ships are like crashing down. Yeah, or like yeah. shooting like that. Like when I saw that, I was like, "Yeah, this is how I know this is a game for me." Like this is instantly up on my list of like things I must play the second it comes out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's done. On Game Pass day one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, day, hey, th- are Maybe. those not like that's like the best slogan you can hear now instead of pre-order now yeah game yeah, game yeah. Game i mean yeah. every everything yep. shown they showed what 31 <laughs> games and 28 of them are coming to game pass day one right i, I think battlefield yeah. far cry and uh what was the th- the fourth one or the third one that's not coming diablo uh, I guess would be it right diablo 2 is not coming to game yeah, yes diablo makes diablo sense. so uh yeah, man. Everything that if you anything you watch today is coming to Game Pass, and Battlefield will be there sooner than later. I guarantee it. If you have alternate, yeah. so uh, yeah. Well, it's yeah, EA, it so yeah. it'll yeah. be on EA. It, it's just yeah. like how how do you not walk out of there going, "This is like the best value in the business." There's just there's no way. Yeah. I don't I don't understand people that have an Xbox and don't have Game Pass who remotely are interested in playing more than one or two games, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. unless you're like the Call of Duty Madden guy, like, right? Like, I, I was, I was telling you, I just don't thinking, understand Eddie B. What, no, <laughs> nobody does. Okay, no, we, I, I, Eddie, Eddie B doesn't understand, understand Eddie B. Like, I, I used to play on my indies on my Switch, mm-hmm. and then Game Pass started making all these indie deals, mm-hmm. and almost all the ones I was wanting to play were coming here. Like, I, and I'm sure it'll be on the bullet point later. But for example, 12 minutes is one of my most, my most anticipated games of the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. I was fully ready to shell out 20, 25 bucks for that game. It's coming to Game Pass, though. Like, I'm probably still going to buy it because I've been waiting for it for so long. Mm-hmm. But that's cool because I've got friends who are really like budget tight because they've got like, you know, two or three kids. And they're like, oh, thank God that's $20 I don't have to spend on another game. Thank right. God it's coming here. Right. Mm-mm. It's, uh, like, I don't have to choose between this and like saving up for a bigger game I can play with my friends down the road. Yeah, like, I. I've already. I'm looking at the list of games that I want to play this year, and most of them are coming to Game Pass. And I'm like, well, okay, mm-hmm. well, I guess I'll save my money for you know like Mario Golf and 
Yeah. yeah. Breath of the Wild too. That's literally what I said. I was like, oh, this and the Ascent, and there was something yeah. else that was coming that I was wanting to play like later on this year. I think uh, I think Lake is coming to Game yeah. Pass also. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw those. I was like, oh, thank God. I wanted to play all these. I now have money for Mario. Yeah. Without Tunic. having to like Tunic bribe Tuesday. my girlfriend. <laughs> Tunic Tuesday. I can't wait. Yeah. I want to play Tunic. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. The, the 40 demos are coming, and Tunic is one of them. That's another one. That's Didn't they say that's yeah. coming to Game Pass Day 1, too? Mm, yeah, they, they have not. not. They've been mum on that one. Okay. Uh, I would. Isn't that a Microsoft thought, exclusive though? Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought it was. It's yeah, a timed yeah. exclusive. Timed exclusive. Yeah. So I, I don't know if it's actually time, coming to Game Pass though. Uh, I'll do some research while we're talking. Uh, yeah. The the other game, so Josh, that you wanted to talk about, and I actually wanted to talk about too, was uh, replaced. Which yes. uh, mm. I think they showed yes. this game off a couple years ago under a different name, which I think it was called The Last Night. Uh, no, uh, I looked it up when you uh, when you asked me that too. Uh, it is not actually that game is in development hell and may never actually come out oh, because okay. of legal issues. No, totally different studio here. Oh, okay, uh, it, it has the same vibe. It looks really cool. I I love the art style. I think it. I, this game looks amazing. This looks like something I will play as soon as it drops. Uh, mm-hmm. Same. Absolutely, kind of get get that Katana Zero uh, and uh, it look, yeah, Dead Cells vibe. Yeah, yeah. At least yeah. in terms of like the gameplay. Yeah, it looks it looks so good. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, yeah. And last, la- the last big thing I want to say here, guys. Finally announced this holiday. It's the Xbox Mini Fridge. Yeah, the- they're right on the show. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I. Yeah, it was awesome. Like I they, loved like, it. Like the Xbox show ended, and, and then they like. Then I thought, like I thought, I just let this video skip, and they were showing like the Game Awards <laughs> uh, reveal trailer because it was just yeah, kind of me like too. A, it was just kind of like a recut trailer for that, but then they just showed, yes, it's really happening. They actually put that line in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Xbox and chill. They say. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, so, that was great. Is there is there anything else anybody wants to touch on from this list? I know they announced or they talked about thirty something games today. Uh, Stalker two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. There's a lot of. Don't we have a bunch of stuff in here yet that was yeah, shown at it? I, I mean, just, I'm, not, I'm not trying to stay up till like one o'clock talking yeah. about all these games. Yeah. I just don't want to talk it. about playing Requiem. I just yeah uh, yeah yeah. I actually just yeah, wrote an amazing. article right before joining. Yeah, I just wrote an article about it, uh, the release of it joining. But uh, I was actually surprised. I mean, this was kind of like a sleeper hit, and I didn't yeah. think I didn't expect the sequel. From it. All of a sudden, I saw like the pile of rats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is Plague Tale. Like, well, that's cool. This yeah. is a game that didn't need a sequel, but I'm glad no. it's getting a sequel. Yeah, yeah. This, this game has gotten a lot of. It's got. It's gotten a. a it's a lot, lot of had a people long... that have talked about it recent, like more recently, playing it. Even it's had a long like time I, it's one of those games where pump. people just keep on finding it and it's one of those talking games. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. On game pass, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no. It it was a really good. It was a really good game. Probably focused interactive. One of their best ones. Uh-huh. Um, with such a kind of like a deep personal story about feeling like having that connection with your younger brother and protecting him through this plague, and obviously. You know the, uh, the 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 backdrop of like this medieval French state or whatever um, was really good. So definitely a game that I think should be on not not everybody's radar. Not a lot of people will probably be interested in that gameplay, but yeah. it's still and, the and, you know, really were kind of you know iffy, but yeah, yeah. it's a great game for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like yeah, and like you said, Stalker too. Like yeah, I'm I'm really interested in seeing more about this. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, this game looks like awesome. It has some of the deep, best uh, facial animations I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. It's. Mm. I I don't even know much about Stalker anyway. What what is Stalker like? I don't either. But so it... Stalker was a PC game back in like 2007 2008. It was one of the very few things that like actually used games uh, games for Windows back then. Mm-hmm. And what it was, it was kind of in a, a crisis situation where it was like couldn't run well on, like, current PCs or anything. Mm-hmm. But what it is is you're a soldier who is sent in in, like, an, uh, an alternate timeline to Chernobyl. Like, the whole game's in, like, Russian and Ukrainian, like, with subtitles. Yeah. But you go in there and there's, like, 
there are there's a lot of monsters that live in there that have like been mutated because of the radiation throughout the years and like you have to wear radiation suits and this and that but it sounds a lot you're like you're hunting <laughs> it sounds it like metro, is, yeah. it's it's like like metro, metro yeah. but <laughs> I get it. it's a metro scarier metro yeah yeah and it's open yeah. world yeah. So, yeah. They, um, I'm pumped. Yeah. The, the one big, the well, big for me. The one big thing that that had me like on the edge of my seat was when they um, unveiled a Uden Chronicle. Oh yeah. Whew. What? I did not see that come to Game Pass. Three. Yeah. I'm legitimately <laughs> shocked that that was at an Xbox show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm really interested in Atomic Heart. Like that game just what? looks so messed up and weird. What is that game? Like I, I was like, are they are they just showing a montage of a bunch of different games? And you're like, no, this is the same game, but it's like it feels, yeah. like, it feels like mannequins. Fallout, like the bad, like it feels like Fallout seventy six. That's how it looks in terms of quality. Had a baby with like the pre alpha tech demo of the concept for Cyberpunk, and they just had a demented love child. <laughs> Because this and, looks and I love everything. weird, and robot. like I, I'm glad that you like it because I looked at this and was like, "Nope, <laughs> moving on." See, I like weird though. I like when when I, I, I they do too. Embrace just, weird. It, it just it's not it's not tickling my particular weird fancy. Mm, yeah, what is your weird fancy, Josh? Mm. I don't know, but this didn't tickle oh, my pickle. No. If you know what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> keep on test here. There's also okay. Hades. Yeah, uh, Hades. coming to yeah. Yeah. physical game yep. pass. Yeah, Oof. and a physical edition. Like, they made a big deal about four that. Four months physical. ago on accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I've got the Ascent already pre-downloaded. So yeah. I well, that Shred- game. Shredders was kind of cool. I mean, you I know, thought it was uh, I thought they were about to announce they were bringing Amped back for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, oh, I got that it's too. The guys behind Amped. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. Shredders. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I think bringing Shredders out with against Riders Republic is a horrible idea. Shredders did not look that good. Yeah, but this is on Game Pass. (laughs) Riders Republic is not. (laughs) I I would almost spend money to play Riders Republic versus Shredders. Yeah. I just after after playing Steep on Game Pass, I have like I wouldn't say a negative desire to play Riders Republic, but my hype went way down because I. Steep was not great in terms of like doing tricks, in my opinion. It is the SSX I was promised. It is not. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I, I want somebody to just go balls doesn't. to the wall with this. I'm not playing this for realism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Anybody else have anything? Because I I kind of want to talk about the Square conference, uh, especially the party th- animals, baby. Dude. I'm ready to play that. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's yeah. go. Damn it. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, Let's, let's talk yes, about this. Oh my gosh. Uh, Square.